Okay, so I forgot one important bit that would help the uh, help the uh, Hydra that little bit more. The book is trading places with the gold dragon. There, pop her in, and there we go. That, with that extra 50% on the level up campaigns, hmm, I have 150 for divinity camps, and I never use them anymore. They're such a good camp, and I don't use them because, well, because permanent growth. <laughs> <sighs> I'm always looking at the long game. And multiplier campaigns are really good if I'm going to play the short game on something. Mm. I need to get these guys crafting again. I really, really do. <sighs> I could pull the mouse out. Hmm... He'd stop growing, but he'd start crafting. If I can be patient a little while longer yet, I can. Oh, by the way, another thought for something that could randomly be in the uh, lucky draws. Probably not as super rare as the hyperbolic time chamber, but, you know, something you could put in. Uh, I don't know, I'll just call it a forge token. Just, uh, worth 12 or 24 hours. Just instantly finish one of the things that your blacksmith is working on. You do the same for the alchemist, I suppose, but, yeah. It wouldn't be, wouldn't be as rare as the hyperbolic, though. The hyperbolic time chamber is just, oh! But, yeah. I don't know, Forge Token isn't a good name. You'd want it to be something something that sounds more time manipulative y or maybe maybe inspiration. Ooh, right. It could increase your craft quality as well of what you what you forge when you use it. Give it a little boost on that too. Yeah, that'd be cool. Spice these things up a bit. Hmm. Well. I don't know that I'd put any of those items on direct sale, though. I, I, don't, I don't think I would. I don't think I'd do it. I think I'd make them purely lucky draw finds. Anyway. <laughs> it's done at last. 121 feathers. How much XP do you think the camel's going to get? Not enough to level up. That's how much. Well, still, that's a freaking boatload of feathers. When that eagle, when I finally get my eagle token, oh my gosh. He's probably going to demand 250. It's probably going to be a dick and demand 250 or 350. No, I'm I'm counting. He's he's he seems low end. His stats are 77s. He he should be cheap. All right. I'll take that. I'll take those. Hey, look, even more iron bars and iron ore. Wait a minute. Does this just exceed the scrapyard? The water temple is a better scrapyard than the scrapyard is. I probably need to make more of this before I do another massive... Oh, man. I mean, I could just make, oh my gosh, levels of, of that, or... I should probably start in on the ice. Probably. Growth! Pandora's battle is still higher than his other two stats. I'm so glad that that thing's producing chocolate. I mean, I, I really mean it. I'm really glad he's producing all the chocolate. And I'm just getting so many V2s. Like, I'll... I'll what am I going to do with it all? I, 
I kind of don't know what I'm going to do with them all. I mean, 11? Hmm. None of the pets so far have called for V2 stuff. Alright, well, 10. 10 of them. So, decent odds that I'll find something, but, you know, probably won't. Chocolate. Battle! Alright. I mean, that's okay. That's, that's okay, yeah. I like that. Well, so much for those. Battle! <sighs> he managed to find something inferior even to one GP to give me. How are these looking? Eh. Eh. I'm so tempted to spend some. I could just spend a little... Just a little, maybe one million clones? Huh? Huh? Just one million. It wouldn't hurt anything. Really? Well. Uh, hmm. So, uh, this is basically... Well, I mean, I'm going to go to bed. And then I'm going to wake up in the morning and start a new challenge. So, uh, I'm going to have to calculate that out real fast. But, it's actually pretty freaking close but there's the extra hours because it, it happens while I'm sleeping and it's going to keep doing that just the way it's timed out it's going to be stuck at three days for a while basically more or less yeah I go to bed in two and a half hours and then huh anyway I can let you guys do a two hour run Because I'll still be awake. But you guys need to be... Uh, it's basically going to have to be a nine-hour thing, right? So a bit less than two days. I, or three days, I guess. I guess. Am I missing someone? No, okay. Huh. How'd you enjoy that extra five growth, everyone? Yeah, didn't hardly really notice, huh? Oh, well. I'm always glad when he's at the back because it spares me a little bit of chocolate every time. I'm annoyed that this is a nine-hour run, which tempts me to pull, pull a, my weakest pet up into the growth campaign again, but I won't do it just now. But it's tempting, and then I could put the bear in food again. Hmm. Hmm. I want more adventurers. Alright. And I want these guys to be working. It'll come. It'll come soon. Alright, what we're going to do is I'm going to make more holy water. I'm going to make more holy water with him to be sure that they've got a good supply for their scrap yarding. Like 200. Basically, I could have 400. One second. I think the ghost was 750, and that's... Uh, I've got a couple who are... Ah, oh, but you can't evolve. Ah, you're the one I want, but in that condition... Hold on, there's somebody else at 7 feet. Oh, that's... Oh, that's not happening. Anyone else? You know, you're actually not that far afield, but you want to be a blacksmith when you grow up. And I want you in growth campaigns, so I, I, I'll make him an adventurer. He's got plus 100% to growth campaigns. He's got to be an adventurer. So, yeah, I'm not really... Hmm. I'm not really super excited about my iron options, other than the ghost. I'm super excited about the ghost. 
so this just ain't happening. I'm super excited about the ghost. It's just that his condition. Oh my gosh. That condition. Hmm. So I don't need to worry about iron bars anytime soon. I mean, we are leveling up. No. Once the boss is... No. Anyway... But I want it so badly. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Well, anyway, forty thousand pet stones until I pick up a new pet. It's going to be the bird. He'll have to grow for a while. Grow, my pet, grow. Which means one of these will be kicked over into the forest. Um, someone. I don't know who yet. Then I'll, I'll I'll grow him. I'll evolve him into an adventurer. I'll put unless is there a class? No, it's probably going to be adventurer unless he has a very weird you know. Even if he was an alchemist or something, I'd probably still choose adventurer for him. 75% item drop. Can't say no to that. So then I'll put him here. And that means I can take the dog and put him as a blacksmith. Or I could take my supporter back. I'll probably take the dog back. The next pet I'll go for will be the penguin. Then I can take... No, I need a blacksmith here. Hmm. I don't know what the pet after that will be. Something... Maybe it will just be the spaghetti monster. Who knows? Replace you with it and just leave it locked forever in the forest. Still working our way up onto matching that battle strength. My gosh, you've grown. You're already at 16,000. In just a few days, by the end of the week, you guys will surpass Mr. Whale. And then this entire thing will start cycling again. <sighs> they all just need... I want to get them past the 25,000 mark. And we're getting there. We are getting there. Hmm... Yeah, okay. That's probably fine. That's probably fine. I've got all six slots. Everything's great. Okie dokie. And how are you doing over here, huh? Okay, well, we're going to end up going a little bit smaller again, but it looks good to me. Is that everything? I think I've done everything. Right, I've done everything. Okay, but the most important question of all is, how are you doing? It was 286 before, right? So 34. Hmm. Another 10% gain. Uh, we're getting there. We're getting there. Bit by bit. I could do an extra long run right now, and it would be long and stupid but I'd get a pet oh oh we're close to picking up two more 
Which is good, because I really need two more pets. I really do need them. Well, still at 97. It's not bad. It's not. It's not bad at all. Okay, so let's, oh wait, trees. Okay. Hmm. Well, what if I'm so tempted to buy a pile of clones? No, no. Not until it's Planet Multi Challenge time. Oh, I will wipe these out. But we have 29, really? Okay. We have a lot of those to do. A lot, a lot, a lot. It's not the best way to gain GP, but it's pretty good for a lot of other things. Most notably, long item campaigns. Hmm. Hmm. Unfortunately, Planet Multiplier challenges are not conducive to item camps at all. These won't take... Uh, I'm, I'm not entirely sure how long these will take at this point. Well, I've gained so much since the last time I was down at, at the bottom. Hmm. Want to get the fridge, though. Oh, I can have some long runs again. Let me tell you, that scrapyard just pisses iron. <laughs> I get so much of this stuff. Right, so I'm going to take you. I'm going to put you on. So you could probably only make 16 holy water. <sighs> hmm. That would leave me with a remainder of 12. I'm going to make six ginger. Then I'll create the holy waters. Then I'll put it to work. Probably on ice. I'll probably only do a half batch. Yeah, that sounds about right. Probably just half. Half of that ice transformed would be good. Okay. All right, then. Hmm. All right, so... As you can see, I nudged him with a couple, you know, with, with an extra health potion because I was busy. I was like, oh, I'm just going to do this. All right, so I think I've just pretty much settled on... Look at this. I've got to 200. By the way, uh, we'll just do a quick inventory. Check this out! Yeah, iron is super easy to accumulate. What can I say? <sighs> if only the ghost didn't have that stupid thing that makes him really hard to evolve. Uh, level 2 bosses. Ah! Anyway, I think I'm going to go with Ice, as I mentioned before. But I don't think I want to set him up for 7, 8 days. Um, only on account of the fact that I might need to... I don't know. I might need to use him to make something. I've got a little bit of spare holy water on top of what they got with them. So I could probably go eight days straight, but part of me wants to go for that, and part of me just worry. I, I like to keep my options open. What if I just discover I need to make a, I, I don't know, 
some healing potions for some reason or something. It really shouldn't be an issue. I mean, it wouldn't cost anything to just do it as a as a four day and then another four days. Bah! Let's do the whole of it. Well, actually, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Here's a question. How much XP do you need to level up? A hundred thousand? Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> okay, well, I'm not, I'm not likely to level up during it. Uh... If my blacksmiths come back online, they'll be they won't be working on the pot. They'll be working on the hammer, their hammers. So I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for the whole. Just <clears throat> you know, you should get bonus experience for doing a longer, longer run, right? No. Here's another consumable item that could be in the in the lucky draws. Lucky draws exclusives. You shouldn't be able to buy things like like I've been talking about. They should just be lucky draw exclusives to spice it up. How about rare candy? It gives a pet one level in uh, one dungeon level. Just boom, one dungeon level. Anyway, by the time eight days have passed, I'll have a new pile of ice for you to work on. That's two hundred and thirty-four plus one hundred and seventy-five. Obviously, I'm not going to be doing the snake evolution. I'm tempted, actually. Maybe I should just keep 250 ice on hand so that I have that option open to me. I'm overthinking this. I'm overthinking this. Let's just do this because it's awesome, and I'll get 234 in one dump, and it'll be like, oh, look at all this ice. So that will bring me up to 400 plus. All right. All right. By then I'll have more, of course. So we'll be probably by the time this finishes, and then I do, you know, with, with the added ice, I'll probably be halfway to my refrigerator by then. Hmm. I'm not sure how long it'll take me to accumulate the full thousand. Part of me wants to hold my pet stones and just wait for the refrigerator, but I I think I'm going to buy a pet token next, and then, I don't know. We'll see what I do from there. Hmm. I might end up having to wait until I score another huge win of pet stones to get the fridge. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure. Seven days, 18 hours. You and your crappy little pot that's only 1.4% faster. I really want to power up that pot. But I want to up the hammers even more. Soon we will have it. Very soon. Pop, pop, pop. Oh. oh, okay. Well, I mean, it's you know better towards the end of a run when I have more of it. But you know, it's it's nice. It's it's, it's still nice. Oh, if I had to knock that out first. Oh well. It's it's nice to get a little divinity, I guess. And the doubling mystic is 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 good. I mean, you know, those weren't those weren't bad. I guess. Right then. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm definitely gonna go with a uh, go with one more pet first. It's gonna be the bird. I'll pop it in here and I'm gonna put Cupid uh, while the bird is powering, the Cupid will end up here. And then somebody from here is gonna go into my forest, where they can gain some stats. Hmm. Somebody who's not good at items. So that's... I mean, I kind of want to power up uh, my Hydra here. 
I might power up the Hydra, actually. Either that or the... Probably the Hydra, actually. That's probably what I'll go with powering up. While Cupid's here. And then when the Eagle crosses, you know, whatever threshold I feel is good enough, the Eagle goes into this set, hopefully having evolved into an adventurer. I'm sure I've got enough feathers, I think, maybe, I hope. I've been finding a lot of bound feathers, actually, randomly out of uh, Water Temple. So, yeah, 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 that checks out. Cupid goes back into this. That at least temporarily. I kind of don't like the idea of pulling the hider out because it's got that 25% item camps, but literally everyone here is level ups or uh, items. And the eagle will also be an item campaign boost. Likely adventurer, too. Yeah. Literally everyone here is either level up or item camp. And the level ups are necessary to, you know, so, so that we have more time doing item camps. Uh, maybe it should be the book. Maybe it should be the book. Mm. Eh, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Anyway, this might be the first all achievement challenge that will be less than three days for me. It's actually strongly possible that it will finish, like, right before I go to bed instead of, what you know, sometime while I'm sleeping. If not this one, then the one after it. I'm so happy to have six of these. Ah, I really like it. Man. You know, there was some rumor at some point, quite a while ago, about there being a, some kind of crystal pet, but it 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 never never materialized. Hmm. I wonder what it would have been based upon. Crystal power, so much to unlock it, having so many crystal slots, just having crystals of a certain level. I wonder. Ah well. Ah, well, how many times now have I screwed with my sleep so I could get something in an idle game? Just a little bit more, and I could do an AAC. So I guess I gotta stay up a little bit longer. I'm gonna set them on the rebirth track. Let me scoop up. Oh, how about you? Some ice blocks, yay! Wow, that was a fairly poor set of stuff. Oh well, whatever. Uh, let me see. I need these. We're gonna do that. You guys just about done over here? Any second. Okay, follow this up. Get everything all the way up to 18. Well, except for you, apparently. Okay, don't need any of these anymore. Boom, ba doom. <laughs> Nothing. Oh well. Ten. Here we go. Wouldn't it be annoying if I got a divinity du divinity doubling right now? Five more. Well, we got some chocolate. I mean, I'm. I'm not going to complain about that. Chocolate's good. That actually helps a little bit. Uh, 
That actually really does help a little bit. How long is this? How long? I'm not staying up for this. I'm not. The difference between here and here is an hour and a half. I figure it's at least two hours. No, I'm going to bed. The next AAC will hopefully be the one that's, you know, that cuts out basically seven hours. This one, though, you're stuck. Darn, I could have gotten more out of the item campaign if I hadn't. Ah, well, I misjudged things a little bit. It'll be fine, I'm sure. That is for you lot. You can have this. And go ahead and do your foresty run. Hmm. The ultimate shadow summon is nice. Five and a half days left on you. down one more of these. wonder if I can do that in seven hours. Huh. Well, I'm just going to set this thing up and go to bed. Let's see how this is doing. <laughs> well, you know, it's doing okay. Not really all that much greater than before, but it's all right. It's all right. Well, here goes that. Here, give me this. I'll finish using the universes later. Let me see. I guess I'm going to set this on again. Hmm. And then I'm going to do that. And, uh... Yeah, our regen's pretty good. I don't need to worry too much about building the mystic up. Yeah. I'll do the spend the rest of these universes tomorrow. Eh, maybe I'll put a hundred hundred excuse me, K on the job. Twenty five minutes, five thousand. I mean, they're going to get slower, but it's also going to get more expensive. That's probably more or less correct there. And, uh, oh, I don't know. Something like that. Mm. There. Something like that's probably, probably good enough. I think so. So when I wake up in the morning, I'll finish, you know, finish spending whatever remainder there is. I'll have, I'll collect my various campaigns. By the way, Pandora's box is looking pretty awesome, but it's about to surpass the whale. Sadly, its growth is about to become stunted. <sighs> what a pity. Hmm. Very soon. You know, I could have gotten 300,000 right then and there. But no. <laughs> Still. I got some chocolate. I actually really do appreciate the chocolate. I, the, uh... Bear, I'm constantly eye eyeing its uh, hours left, but uh, the moment that it starts surpassing these, it's going to start eating chocolate nonstop. And then I'm going to have to figure out what to do about it. It's going to be a real problem keeping us stocked. It really is. Well, anyway. 
Well, <clears throat> you were offline for hours. After the break, you feel refreshed, and you will your creation speed will be tripled for zero seconds. It's a pretty, pretty complete report here. You defeated eight ultimate beings. Man, this is a lot better than it once was. Offline's kind of great these days, but I notice I don't seem to have made any th creations, and yet... And yet... Hmm. Well, anyway. Uh, okay, I guess this is going to have to continue working a little bit longer. Oh, maybe I'll take a couple hundred thousand off of you and distribute it around a little. I'm aiming for 500, as usual. Uh, so I should be just a about ho 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 I uh, should be just about done with our dungeon run okay five minutes hmm I am real close to getting to my next uh pet thingy anyway I'll just uh eh chocolate plus two to all pet stats I an ultimate shadow sun. Plus two to all pet stats. Ah ha ha ha! So much power. What will I do with it all? Uh, anyway, in about three hours, everything will be good. Now, will that be enough? I don't know. I guess it depends on what we get out of the scrap yards and water temples. Hmm. Not sure how many pet stones they're going to be bringing me back. I wish it would tell me just by me hovering over it. Oh, well. Hmm. As you can see, I didn't put anything on Power Surge yet. Next, I have to power up the Power Surge. Then I gotta... Well, I'm gonna do this somewhere along the line. You know, all the usual stuff. Hmm. Meanwhile, over here... We are currently at 359x. I really want to do a long run and just get that Shadow Clone, but I'm not going to let myself do it. But I'm tempted. Well, okay. So, it is time. 3,300 pet stones. Let's go ahead and collect the rest of this because we're going to do a little bit of shifting about. Ah, five iron bars. A whole bunch of stuff. Hey, look, never melt ice. And more iron bars. Hmm. We have enough iron bars, we could build a prison. Okay, let's see. Ooh, I'd have more than 500. I'd be approaching, not quite there yet, but I'd be approaching 600. And I need 750 for you and you, but uh, the other prerequisites are a bit much. <sighs> and I have to make a choice. I actually super want to get back to the forging, but it's been bothering me. I've been spending this resource here, but one of these slots has been empty. Hmm. Alright, first things first. Everyone, get your feeding. Okay. Then, huh. you know, last night I dreamed that I had saw that I had zero chocolate, and I was like, no, I misclicked and I used up all my chocolate again. 
That's not even possible anymore, thank goodness. <laughs> Thanks to favorite food. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Okay. Let's, let's go ahead and do this. I would like a pet token, please. Yes, thank you. I would like to invest in an eagle. All right. I'm sh do I have enough feathers? That's the question. I have 230. Is it going to be, let's say 250 or less. I've pretty much already, well, actually, I have to wait like three more days. But y you know what I mean. Man, your growth sucks. We'll have to do something about that. Okay. What class? I mean, I'm going to turn it into an adventurer almost no matter what. I mean, unless it has a very unusual uh, thing, but it's probably just going to say a class. Let me guess. What would an eagle's favorite class be? Support, maybe? No, definitely not blacksmith. Uh, probably not an alchemist. I mean, it could bring back little things like it's building a nest, but it's alchemy. Uh, I'm going to say assassin. You probably want to be an assassin. Yeah, that would make the most sense. Ooh, only a hundred. Gotcha. Oh, you little bastard. Oh, you little bastard. Fifty? Ah, uh, what? Well, now I have to question if you're even worth it. Uh, that would be, by my calculations, worth 50,000 pet stones. I mean, it could just, I, I mean, I could just find the 300,000 pull, which is, you know, another pet. It's, it's like feeding you another pet, or feeding you a sixth of a pet. So first you have to eat one-sixth of another pet. But also those lucky draws give everyone stat-ups, and chocolate, and some GP and some ultimate shadow summons and things, and just devour all of it. It's going to take me about two weeks to get his stats up to where I want them to be. What would you want? An adventurer? That's unexpected. I mean, that's ideal. I mean... Fifty! How long will it take? You get your adventurer levels. Eventually, you know, before too long, that'll be 30% more items. Level up as well. Let's see, 30% more items. Uh, it would take you forever to pay off the uh, 50,000 pet stones that you'd swallow. To produce that many lucky draws again. Um, what the hell? Why? Now I wish I had gone with the penguin. Or maybe the panda. Maybe the. Actually, probably the pegasus. I could have probably evolved the pegasus too, maybe. Probably not be as... 50. 50. Screw you, I'm not giving you 50. Even if you do want to be an adventurer, I'm not in any rush to, to evolve you now. Ugh. <sighs> Probably when I finally do my ultimate arty challenge, because, you know, I won't be able to use lucky draws during that period. <sighs> All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. You... And we set on mighty food. I ain't giving you the good stuff. You're lucky I'm even giving you that. No chocolate for you. Uh, I guess you're going to be doing the growth campaign. I'm going to take you off the growth campaigns. You're now going to be doing uh, that with me. And that means one of the things that was doing item camps can now be on this. 
could be the dog? The fairy? Hmm. It certainly could be back to leveling and gaining gaining class levels. Oh, but you're so good at what you do. Super tempted to pull the dog out and get back to blacksmith work. Yeah, I think I think I'll let Link get back to adventuring. We end up with a little bit less items because thirty-three is less than fifty. But all right. So now the bird, <laughs> you're going to like triple. And oh crap, you're under leveled. You're super under leveled. Okay, all right, you know what I'm gonna do? I'll put you there for the rest of this this one. Yeah, you know what? Actually, yeah, that's perfect. That's where you'll be. You'll hang with them for a little bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Any startups you gain is is great because then you go back in the growth chamber and you know, yeah, yeah. No, that's that's perfect. I like that. Okay, all right. Three hours for you. Three hours for you. Three hours for you. All right. I am ha I am satisfied. Well, I'm not satisfied with my eagle. I should call you bird brain, bird doe. Falcon. Uh, Falco. You're annoying enough. I don't have a frog yet, so I don't have Slippy. And I don't. We we don't have a fox yet. How do we not have a fox? Huh. Her. We've gotten some weird animals as pets, but not a fox. I am not saving up lucky draws for that bird anytime soon. I mean, I, I hate to not evolve it. That's I mean, I picked it because I was like, this will be easy to evolve. It won't require a bunch of materials. And then... Now I have to be suspicious of all y'all. I know you're going to want to be a mage. Hmm. I think we need more fire types and wood types. I think we've got a lot, a lot, lot of water types. And a pretty good number of wind types down here. Hmm. Will I go for that next? This is 75% on multiplier. So do you, though. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll just go with the donut next time. Evolve you easy enough. Who knows? I wanted to evolve it right away. <laughs> Stupid Falco. Anyway, it's, when it finishes, it's still going to have a nice 75% item boost. Um, so I'll put Cupid back in here, and I'll drop this thing in place of one of these. Um, yeah. Okay, this is what things look like now, huh? I really wish I could go back to default. Wouldn't default be nice? But this is not default. Yes, it is. It's backwards. 
It's reversed order. Look at it. This is default. Only it's upside down. Why is it upside down? Why is it backwards? If I say default again, no. Is there one for just reverse? Of course not. I can work with this. I mean, I'd rather it be the other way around, but I can work with this. I see. Was it like this before and I just didn't notice? Okay. All right. Yeah, no. I'm I'm I can I can deal. I can deal. I can deal. Okay. Yes. Awesome. First growth. First growth on the beagle. 234 becomes Ho ho ho. Hold on. We're not quite done yet. Hmm. All this stuff, and I'm sad because it wasn't a lucky draw. Oh, well. Stuff. Oh, we've got a long way to go to pay for that fridge. I wonder if I'll get the stuff in time. Okay, now the next important bit. Yes. Normal. Feed. Everybody. Okay, now we look at our bird now. Oh, right. Okay, it's reversed. Okay, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. It's more than three times stronger than it was when I bought it 12 hours ago. Ah. And it's got a ways to grow. Hmm. So I think I can end this run four hours from now rather than waiting till the morning. Maybe. Maybe not. We will see. But that's what I'm aiming for. Hmm. Yep. So, really wish I could flip this back upside down. All right. So what it looks like is skills. 7.2 right now. We need a 7, 8. Oh, of course, there's down here. I don't know. I don't know. I hope it does. I hope I complete it at that point. That would be nice. <laughs> go ahead and go. Well, let's go ahead and do this this again first. Then we'll go back and we'll do upgrades and oh, hey, about that. Yeah, we'll try upgrading these further as well uh, at the last second. Anyway, all the usual stuff is going down. All the usual stuff. Look, 288 more pet stones. Joy! Hmm. Oh, hey, look. That's right, I got one. Yay, 15 chocolate. Actually, that kind of helps. I'm actually hard up enough in that department that uh, these are helping. 50% boost in all campaigns for the next minus four hours? Well, I may have... Um, Botched that a little bit. So how does that work? How does negative time work? Can I keep stacking negative time? Ah, well. It's unfortunate, but I'm sure it'll be okay. We'll see what actually happens with that in four hours. It should cancel out to a zero. It shouldn't dig deeper. Right? I should hope. It's so close. But 
I need to go to bed. I'm not staying up. I mean, it's close, but then you consider the hour and a half here, and it's like, no, once again. It might take two more cycles. But hey, maybe I'll wake up randomly in the middle of the night. It happens sometimes, and I'll be like, hey, I'm just going to rebirth now. Well, if not if I set a long campaign. I'm not going to interrupt it. No, if I do campaign, which I am. So actually, no, that's not going to happen. Poo. But a seven hour item camp isn't going to get me anything. Hmm. Well, I mean, it'll get me pet stones, I guess. I guess. It's just annoying. Ah. Uh. If only I didn't need to sleep, I'd be so much more efficient. You know? So much more efficient. Anyway. Hmm. Crap. Fine. Foo. Give me some of that. I was hoping to get a little, squeeze a little tiny bit more into this, but what, you know, build speed. Anyway, I've got lots and lots of GP. I've got plenty of these left to do. I've got my new bird friend. Ha ha ha. It's got a long way to go. I've been thinking about the lucky draws now that I've had some time to think about it, and I'm still... <sighs> Let me try to go over my logic super fast. So this is... See, if it were growth, it would be different. Well, I mean, because I value growth more. But as an item campaign... Okay, basically... The way I figure it, an adventurer is worth about... A third of a pet. Thirty-three percent. It's going to get bigger over time, I know, but you know, we'll just say it's it's worth about a third of a pet after a little while, right? So, like, and and the pro, the the fifty lucky draws is basically equivalent to a sixth of a pet. And when I look at it that way, it seems obvious that I should save up the 50 and spend them and, you know, get this thing to become an adventurer right away. <sighs> and it's good both for... It's good not just at the item, but also at the level-up campaigns. But on the, other, on, on the other hand, having another pet means another pet being fed and benefiting from the gold dragon... So it's stat gains every day by having an extra actual pet. Um, and I can get the blacksmiths working. The next pet I get will unlock a black... Will, will get one of my blacksmiths back to work. And the pet after that will get yet another blacksmith back on the job. So... Which specifically has very high value. So what I'm getting at is I'm actually really torn about this, about whether or not I should evolve this thing or not. I'm really torn. I don't know. I think I think I want I think I really want more pets. Like, I really want to just have more pets. So I think I'm going to hold off on evolving it for now. Just, it might not be the best decision. I'm, I'm actually uncertain. But it's the decision that I'm going to make because I want to do what I want to do, Doug. I want more, I want the blacksmiths back at work. I'm not willing to cut these down. And I only just, you know, I, I'm, 
I want a full six on this. I actually would like to have a full six on the mountain, but I'd need to finish up with my water temple work for that. Speaking of which, so we're almost, we're gonna, let's see, 200, 400, hmm, yeah. We're actually approaching 500 ice total, counting counting this 500 never melt ice, assuming it convert this. We're actually getting close to that. That's the, we're close to the halfway mark on getting the fridge. So I'm also going to need a pet stone pile for the fridge. Oh. I want that fridge. I've wanted it for so long. And ideally, I'll get it while I'm still up high up so I can save up gigantic piles of food for later. Hmm. My pets are looking so awesome. Oh, one last question. So you were at negative four, weren't you? You still say negative four? Didn't you just spend a bunch of hours here? Actually, that's an interesting question. Small change. I mean, I could put the bear in there, but I'm not going to. I'm going to take the bear out. I'm going to put the bear into the food campaign so that he can uh, he can gather a few hours that way. We'll feed him chocolate in the morning, of course. And uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get you charged back up, Mr. Bear. We'll get you all charged up. <sighs> Somebody's missing out on some stat gains for this. Well... Well, so be it. Hmm. I'm also really close on the metal, theoretically. <sighs> These two, I tell ya. These two, <laughs> titanium gear. <sighs> Being the level two bosses. I could more. I, I might just end up doing the robot instead, who's going to be an adventurer, even though he dreams of blacksmithing. Yeah. Hmm. Well. Anyway, it's good that I'm getting chocolate out of those those lucky draws. I think I'll. I think I'll stick stick to feeding everyone until I get down to thirty. Well, I mean, but both the the bear and the gold dragon until I get to uh, 30. I think I'll just charge him up for a while so I don't hit rock bottom like this again. Hmm. Anyway, 21, 300. Yeah. Hmm. Is the gold dragon my strongest now? Let's actually look for a second. What? Didn't I just say by... Oh, sorry. Total growth. Yeah, okay. So you're the strongest now. Yep, you surpassed the kitty somewhere along the line. Hmm. Hmm. Amazing how strong the dragon is. And you have been surpassed by five. Five different pets have surpassed you at this point. For so long, he was invincible. I even gave you that thing from the holidays, the 1,500. I even gave you that. I used to feed you chocolate back before the gold dragon came in to steal it all. Well, I mean, we can see how that turned out, but still. <sighs> yeah. 
What will I do if you hit 25,000 first? Will I take you off of this and put you back into the growth campaigns? I might very well do it. Hmm. Uh, so close. I'm actually super tempted to pick up a million shadow clones right now. I think... Well, let me see. It's what? Like 7.5% gain or something like that or as it would cost me I think what 2,500 ish uh, not quite it's not quite right is it no, I think that's exactly it 2,500 hmm. it's not quite adding up to be worth doing yet technically hmm Perhaps these. 10,000 creation speed is actually fairly inexpensive. It would have a fairly large impact. This, on the other hand, eh, not so much again. Hmm. Feels sort of like I should take the creation speed, actually. It actually does seem like it's worth taking. 10,000? Maybe I should. Huh. I only ever had 10,000. The rest of it's coming from crystal power. Interesting. Oh, you're getting most of your thing from equipped crystals, actually. Oh, that's a very different number. We'll call that 70,000. Well, now, in that case... 70,000... Closer. Much closer to being worth doing. But I think I shouldn't do it just yet. Creation speed is super tempting, though. Super tempting. I'll leave it be for the moment. For the time being.